This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before getting into the workout, make sure you're going over the warm-up and stimulus, which can be found on the Instagram post or in the Best Box app on your phone. That warm-up should get us ready for the workout. We're, going, we're looking to increase our heart rate, increase your body temperature, and get a little bit of a sweat off. You may want to do a little bit of extra mobilization following the warm-up, getting ready for the dumbbell power snatch and dumbbell overhead squat. These movements are going to test your overhead flexion of the shoulder, your thoracic extension, and your hip mobility, getting into that squat position. So my recommendations, starting on our hands and knees, I'd recommend starting with cat cows, going into spinal flexion and extension, cat, you're pushing your hips, your, your shoulders towards the ceiling and tucking your bum underneath your hips getting a lot, getting this excessive flexion of the spine. And then we're going to go into cow, so flatten out and then arch the hips and shoulders together, looking up. Go back and forth between cat and cow, about 10 times. Don't rush through that movement. We wanna make sure that we're getting nice and controlled, full ranges of motion there. Following that, I'd recommend going into a single arm raise plus a swimmer. So you're going to lift your arm overhead as much as you can and then bring your arm, your hand behind your back, out in front and down. So bring your hand up and around your back, back, down. Controlled movements. I'd recommend about 10 reps per arm. Then I'd say get into a half knee position, offset hand on the floor, same hand as the knee that's out in front. You're going to reach under and thread the needle and then rotate and reach up to the ceiling. About five to 10 reps per arm or side, getting a little bit of rotation in the mid back as well as stretch in the hip. From this side, Next, I recommend getting into a seated position with your knees up, getting into some hip 90-90s. So letting your knees fall to the side, 90, position, 90 degree position here, about a 90 degree position here, and then I'm gonna reach my elbow, my elbow, try and touch the ground on the opposite side, rotating to the other side, about 10 times. From side to side, can help us get a little bit more mobility, a little bit more mobilization in those joints. So, for 15 minutes, we're gonna work on our dumbbell power snatch and dumbbell overhead squat complex. The idea is that we wanna to build to something heavy, getting ready to, which will allow us to drop weight and go through the Metcon relatively quickly, relatively easy compared to what we're gonna do here. So, the dumbbell power snatch, taken from the dumbbell from the floor, overhead in one move, catching it in a power stance, meaning the hip stays above the knee. So I'm gonna bend over, pick the dumbbell up from the floor, good posture, driving through the hips, standing up, and then going into a overhead squat. I wanna bring my other hand out in front of me for counterbalance, and to avoid any twisting throughout my body. Going as low as I can while maintaining a straight arm. Switch to the other side. Power snatch into an overhead squat. Like I said, ideally trying to add weight or we're gonna spend that 15 minutes working on technique, getting our joint and move body ready for those movements because we're going to see them in the Metcon. For the Metcon, we have a three minute AMRAP. Sorry, for the Metcon, we have four total rounds of a three minute AMRAP, resting one minute between each three minutes. So, you're going in three minutes, you will do an AMRAP of six dumbbell power snatches. 
This is gonna be three reps per arm. You're gonna alternate each rep. Sw try to switch hands on the way down, touching and going with every rep. What that'll look like. Once I've done my six dumbbell power snatches, three per arm, I'm going to go into six single arm overhead squats. Do three on one arm. Switch hands, do three on the other. Following that, set my dumbbell to the floor, and I'm gonna do three lateral burpees. Start with your feet beside your burpee, beside your dumbbell. You're gonna go over, all the way to the floor, coming up, jump to the other side of the dumbbell, and going back down. That's two, one more. I'm gonna go through that as many times as I can in three minutes. Following that three minutes, I'm going to rest for one minute before I go into the next three minute interval. You're gonna go through those three minute intervals four times. All right, get after it, have fun.